Good morning everybody. We are back for another vlog. Today we are actually, well not today, you're doing today because you're watching it now, but tomorrow I'm actually heading up to Birmingham. So I thought I would do a vlog and take y'all with me. We're going to be having a bit of a shopping trip, but the main reason that I'm going up is because I'm going to see Shania Twain. If you don't know already, I'm a massive country fan. So we actually booked these tickets a while ago. So me and my mum have decided we're going to make a little trip out of it as Birmingham has got some great shopping so we're going to be doing a bit of a shopping vlog today and designer shopping nevertheless and contrasting with that we're also going to go into the world's biggest Primark so bit of both ends that's exactly what I'm about we're going to get right into the vlog tomorrow but first of all I want to thank the sponsors of this part of the video which is Italo Jewelry if you aren't new around here then you'll know I have worked with Italo before their jewelry pieces honestly are fantastic quality. You guys know that I wear a stack on my wrist usually with my Tiffany bracelet. I've got a little like silver dashened one and I always stack with this one which is my Italo tennis bracelet. I also have the tennis necklace as well and that is so beautiful for special occasions because it seriously looks like real diamonds. It looks so expensive. So I've got a couple more items from Italo to show you today which I am ever so excited about because one of these pieces which you might be able to see on me already is a little bit of a showstopper. So this is the box that I received. This is why I love Italo as well as a great gifting choice because look how beautiful this packaging is. Also it comes with inside you get a silver polishing cloth, you get the little travel bag so if you don't want to take the big boxes with you traveling you can use that and you get all of your paperwork as well. You get certificates proving that it is 925 sterling silver as well as you also get your warranty card. So the first piece you should be able to see clearly on me and as I said it was a bit of a showstopper. When I seen these I actually first seen them on Maria Dragonova watching one of her videos and I remember as soon as I clicked on and started the video I didn't know Italo was part of the video and I thought oh my goodness look at her earrings where are they from? And then she said Italo. So I knew I had to get them for myself. What a showstopper they are. These are the Dancing Butterfly White Sapphire Silver Drop Earrings and they are 925 sterling silver along with white sapphires. I absolutely adore the way that these look on the ear. I have never seen any piece of jewelry quite like this in my life. I think it is so delicate but yet such a statement. They also come in gold and rose gold so if you aren't into silver that's absolutely fine they've got an option for you. I'm wearing them today with like my hair down but obviously pinned back so you just get that little glimpse of them and oh my goodness I cannot wait to wear these out. I think they're so fun but so classy. The next item then that I picked up if you are eagle eyed you might be able to see on me it is this stunning ring. So this is the Ramka Eternity Wedding Band and again this is 925 sterling silver and sapphires. This Thing twinkles so so much. The quality that Italo can offer is so comparable to such higher end pieces that would have cost way way more. Another thing to note with these pieces is that the 925 sterling silver actually looks like platinum. It's polished in such a way that it is very questionable if that's silver or platinum. Another exciting thing about the ring and actually the earrings but I think it's more relevant to the ring is you can actually get them custom engraved. So again fantastic opportunity. It's only an extra $20 as well. And again, another reason why Italo is such a special brand and it's just as comparable and special than any other designer or high street brand you could possibly buy. But probably at a fraction of the price. So along with the fact that the quality is great on these items, Italo offers free shipping as well as a 60 day returns policy. I do have an exclusive discount code for you guys, which is on the screen here. It's Amy20 for an additional 20% off your order on Italo. I will I'll leave the link down below to Italo as well as to these individual pieces. I seriously highly recommend these earrings. They are just so different and they look like they could be from a bespoke jeweler. A massive thank you to Italo for sponsoring this part of the video. But without further ado guys, I need to pack because we're heading off tomorrow. We're getting the bus down and let's go to Birmingham. So we're having a look at Valentino Beauty. We've never seen this before. These are fake, aren't they? Yeah, they're fake. <laughs> Got the lipsticks, and mum's looking at the eyeliners in there. You've got the cushion, compact foundations, the foundations. Yeah, it looks, it looks really nice. We've not seen this brand, and mum loves Valentino. And then next door, they've got the Prada Beauty, which we just had a look at, but I'm not gonna lie, not impressed with that at all. 
But it, it wasn't a huge range. Again, it was just lipsticks. Oh, look at the concealers. They're concealers. Yeah, I don't really wear them. I just use that other one. That's the, this is foundation. That's the foundation. And she said you can have a sample if you want. Oh my goodness, look how many... That's not how many shades they've got. Look how many shades. It's just called Very Valentino. Light lasting perfecting foundation. Oh, I've got the shakes it's today. It's not, it's not no, 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 it's foundation. <laughs> We're here trying sunglasses now. Mum can't find them she likes. I found these bubble main pair. Maybe this pair? Or maybe this pair? I'm not sure. <laughs> Do you not like this kind of no. stuff? No? No, see, I actually like them. You won't try you wouldn't trust yourself in them. Like you've got to feel confident in them. I mean they'll be too thin, won't they? They look fine, but they see they look fine on you, but they don't look anything special. Like you want them to be special. like them with the middle bit that looks really good it does actually they look fun they do look they do look really fun I really like them only been here I don't know half an hour and uh, we've now got a glass of champagne here it's to Birmingham I was about to say weekend week week beginning <laughs> week beginning here's, here's to not working having time off and this is actually what champagne is it I can't remember which one we ordered. Champagne Testulat Brut. Which? No, hopefully it's nicer. Yeah, Mum said she wants these glasses. If anybody knows where to get glasses like this, she wants them. I didn't bring my tripod, but cheers. Oh God. <laughs> mm. It hundred percent, hundred percent champagne has got a more smooth taste than Prosecco. I feel, yeah. I feel I can definitely taste the difference with it. I feel, I feel it's like, oh, it's, it's quite fruity as well, isn't it? Oh, we've got to have a pit stop. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we've seen the beauty section. So we had a look at Valentina Beauty and Mum's seen a eyeliner she wants there. We were just doing this top floor here as well, but this is where all the boutiques are. So I can see Louis, I can see Gucci, see Christian Louboutin. Um, but we haven't actually gone in them yet, so we're going to be doing that afterwards. And it's about lunchtime now, I think. It's about one o'clock. So we'll go do some shopping after this. And this is the, you can see behind me when it focuses, that's the whole shopping center back there. So it's a massive space and it's got obviously the, the glass ceiling. Yeah, the ball ring. The ball ring, we are here. And this is where I did my first, my first Louis purchase. I think about four years ago now, in that exact Louis over there, so yeah, it'd be fun. Mummy's got some sunglasses, as you've seen, we were trying some on, and I, I think my favourite were the, my favourite were the YSL ones. YSL ones. If you like, so you're drawn towards them though, so you should go for them. Lovely. Mm. Right, can I have my champagne now, then we'll go shopping. Right, got Saint Laurent over there, it's different. She's not really a designer though, that's the problem. She likes the pictures. Don't she likes her that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Right, we've got Tiffany over there. We've got Louis over there as you can see. And then over there, we've got Gucci. And I did spot some Zimmerman dresses when I came in. I think they're over here. Yeah, here it is, the Zimmer Zimmerman section. I do love a bit of Zimmerman. I say I love it, I like and appreciate the designs, but I do not, um, like dresses like that, let me just put the wide angle on, there we go. Dresses like that are stunning. I have to be a bit more neutral because I feel like I could wear that all the time, but you're looking at, um, oh, oh there you go. You're looking at about 700 pound a dress. I just don't have occasions to wear that too, to be honest. But you can appreciate that one's stunning too. You just, you just want to be in like Greece, don't you, in Mykonos with that. This line with the Roberto Cavalli, has been, I swear this has been around for a while, and Louis actually did a collaboration, I think, because isn't this the collaboration with, like, Michael, Michelangelo? Obviously, Michelangelo is not around, but I think his rights, it's a Michelangelo painting, I believe. 
Yeah, I mean, who wears these sort of things? Just don't see people wearing them, do you? Of course, you can find mum over in the handbag section. <laughs> Wanting to get into the Valent Valentino cupboard. Oh, they've got the little studs there. 320, uh, the little studs is 250, 320 for the... Yeah, so those are the medium ones. You've got quite a lot of studs. You've got those little hoops mm. over there, little pearls, big pearl earrings there. Festival bands. That belt's quite nice, mm. actually. I've never considered their belts. Belt. Little mini, tiny bag. We've got Prada bags here, but only a small concession. <laughs> That's a little puffed one. And no, I don't really like the antique gold on it. I do like, this is so Safiano, what mum's got. That's more of a classic design, like, I'd say that's more like 90s, isn't it? Like yeah. 90s, 2000s, and then you've got the nylon bags. But this is such a tiny selection. They haven't got Prada here, and they've only got this tiny concession. I found this Loewe scarf. That is beautiful. And they've also got a Loewe section over here, but they haven't got any of the bags that I particularly like. This one's sweet, though. Oh my goodness, so mum just found this section called Reselfridge, which is a Project Earth. It's a recycling scheme, and we've literally got Dior here. We've got a Lady Dior. So as you can see, Christian Dior, Fuchsia Medium Lady Dior, and this is 3,480 still. But this is all, they've got a Dior saddle bag, and then over here they've even got a Chanel Classic flap. That will be, well, this, is that navy? This one's 2,400. Yeah, but that's not a classic we'll flap. The clap that is absolutely beautiful. But I think is it navy or is that my navy. eyes? Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I love seeing things like this. So that one here, that's like a proper nineties bag. Uh, there's no price on this one either. You've got a Chanel tweed over here too. This one's eight thousand six hundred and forty for the Chanel tweed. And another classic. <laughs> not that one, no. And then you've got some Gucci's over here too. Oh, that's so cool to see that with it being like recycling. But it's it's cool how it's in here. Oh wow, this is vintage jewelry. Leaves that are on earrings. Oh my goodness, the Chanel it? cuffs. That's a Chanel cuff. Two thousand three hundred. Oh my goodness, look at this little Chanel. That is so cute. Again, some of them haven't got prices. Oh no, it's over here. 2,630. We've got Gucci and Fendi. I love this section. Oh, the loafers. Oh, they're actually nice. That's not you. No, that's not you at all. Gosh, they just look luscious. We're in, in Christian Louboutin now. Well, that's actually very classy. Bags. That's very badassy. I like that one. Mm. Nine thirty. But that heel. Yeah. Oof. That yeah. heel. I know. That's a really cool off-white top. I think that is really cool. I like that. And then we got Gucci. Gucci gang. This t-shirt is made from seaweed, eucalyptus, and organic cotton. It's treaded with. I thought it said peppermint, I can't remember what With PPR mint TM, so it's obviously oil. something, so it's some kind of peppermint oil to keep it fresh, saving water, energy, and time. I mean, I can't smell anything on it. <laughs> I literally just smelled a t shirt, that looked a bit weird. And now we got Gucci. Look at the boots that mum's found. I can't get it. Oh my gosh. Because I think stunning. if you're going to wear VUCA, if you're going to wear like trousers over it, well, well. that's the same crystals. I love those. That's the same crystals as my trainers have. I'm just not, I'm not massively into boots. It would never, oh, I, I like, I prefer the Prada ones. The Prada ones with the little, the little um, pouch on the side. I'll put in the screen what I'm on about. But yeah, yeah those ones is what I actually like. really like the Prada ones. See, I like silver. I was just thinking I haven't got any black trainers. 865, but they are um, mesh. And I've heard that the mesh, once you walk, can actually break. Not the one, the, the camera bag. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, because I've got. So we've got classic cameras. We've got that's the mini flap, I believe, and that's the small. Well, I really need. The moon shaped bag is nice. Well, not what? that you even use my cards anymore, but when you go on holiday. 
you basically, mum's got the full size version of this though, but it is true. Whenever you take out a bag of this kind of size, it is um, difficult. There's my purse. I have to go on holiday, like, do you put on holidays? Well, again, contactless, isn't it? Oh, look at the Gucci clip. You always say you like your clips. Yeah, that's too okay. big though. And I can't clip my hair up anymore. I can't remember the name of these bags now. These are the, um, I can't remember what they're called now. This is all men's over there. You threatened dad, I'd get him a man bag. You threatened dad, get him a man bag. Better yet, get him a, get him a, bucket, get him a bucket hat. Dad, my dad's just got into bucket hats. So <laughs> come, come back with that. He would not be a happy man. Yeah, I remember him now, these are the dark Diana Stevens. Yeah, they're quite nice. 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 Yeah, very casual, I like yeah, that. Any, um, socks or oh, we don't know if you've got any pops. Oh, just, wow. Have you seen them last week? Yeah, so I looked online. Before we came, I looked online because yeah. um, I've been looking yeah. like desperate for some Let's food. try them on. Yeah, they're... Oh, nice. Consider them they're in leather, so they're really stretchy as well. Yeah. So if you feel them a bit tight at the minute. Do you not think they look a bit round too? They do look round toed, but I don't dislike that about them. I think that makes them look really put together. Oh, I really like them. Why are we not the same feet size? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. They are really nice. Oh, I've zoomed in too much. I like them because they've got a bit of a hill. Yes, please. Yeah, you've got to try both. They're quite roomy, but I need them roomy. Oh, I know. It's really hard to see when you've got those cropped jeans on because I know you wouldn't wear them with that. But <gasps> Oh, my goodness. They're so nice. Really like They're them. actually really nice. The shoes that mum's wearing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how nice these are. For you, that's too blingy. That's not you. You can remove the bracelets from this one, so you're going to have a plain yeah. black boots. I do prefer that one, to be honest. Yeah. Did you say these are new as well? Yes. No, I want to keep them. Okay, to know that. Yeah, cool. yeah. They're almost, they kind of almost do look like riding boots style as well, but obviously cropped. It's weird, but maybe it's because I'm biased because I've seen those ones, but. I really, really like the looseness on the ankle. That will be new for you because you're not yeah. used to that. You're not used to that, but I, I actually really like it. When I came in, I spotted, um, this classic design, which I think is really pretty. If you, I've got the Tiffany heart, but this is kind of Gucci's version of the Tiffany heart. And they even do the earrings too, which are a little bit more dainty if I zoom in there. My friend's got this bag as well. It's really versatile actually. Very nice. I've never considered one like that before, but I'm liking this crescent design because they're coming back in. And we've got all of the belts here. Mum's just tried this one on that matches. The lady showed us, but it's nearly 600 pounds, which I think is very, very overpriced for that, considering your classic Gucci's here, the 35 mils are 300 and something now. And they got the unisex belts as well. And this one's sweet if you've got the dusky pink stuff that would match. Now, Louis. So this is the next bag I was con considering. The, it's called the Alma. So it's a very classic design, but it's, and you come in all different sizes, but it's that size that I like. I can't remember if that's the BB or, ooh, look at these trainers. <laughs> They're a funky, uh, funky design. Really? Yeah. Oh gosh, the frame rate is going mad. Sorry guys, the bloody lights. I do not like those at Thank all. You. I think they look fake. I think they look like they're trying really hard. Oh look, that's like my New Balance ones. <laughs> exactly like my New Balance. I can't say any of these are really exciting to me. I spotted the sandals, but I don't like the new LV class. I don't like that new LV design. And the little mini one here too. Sweet. <laughs> they are the best you've tried on so far. Can you see the reflection in them on the screen? Not on. They look really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm.
So we've been walking around Birmingham city centre for a little while, went and stopped at the pub for a drink and if you guys have been here since the day that I came down to Birmingham to film in this store, if you don't know this is Primark Birmingham which is the biggest Primark in the whole wide world. It's a hundred, did we say 160 or 130? I think it was 160 square meters so this whole building, the whole building is Primark so I think it's about five floors. It's got three cafes and a salon and a barber's but we're going to be heading in there tomorrow now as we are a little bit tired but we're heading back into the ball ring which we've not even properly looked around we went into Selfridges as you've seen mum didn't buy the boots but so do I because it they were they were very 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 nice and I think I want her to get them for sure not to mention that they also fit me for once because we're different shoe sizes which is horrible because we've literally got the same pair of trainers and in the Valentino ones which we could have shared Gosh, there's helicopters everywhere. But yeah, this is the bull ring, so we're gonna go back in here now. And it's currently, I can't see my watch. Quarter to five, which means then that we are going, which then means, it's quarter to five, which means we've not even checked into the hotel yet. Um, we could have checked in at three, but we've just been out and about. So I don't really know what we're gonna do next. But oh, I reckon go back in the bull ring this way. This is the bull ring, by the way. There's like, there's like three entrances, so there's there, you can get in that way, and you can get in that way. And then there's obviously the bull. I don't think we've actually been in this way, so yeah, let's go in here. Massive Zara over there. It's a very, very modern, um, very, very modern shopping centre, it's lovely. But I must, I keep saying to mum, like, this section of Birmingham, like within the bull ring, feels completely different when you step just outside of it. It feels totally, totally different. Um, but yeah, oh, they've got a big H&M home there. We might have to have a look in there. Look at the H&M home. We've got lots of autumn colors, some wood, mahogany. I tell you what, it's yeah. very mixed H&M home. Like, I like how trendy it is. Oh, look. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Can we have a quick look in here? Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is impressive. <laughs> This is so impressive. So they've got Christmas stuff out. So if you want to see what is new in H&M home for Christmas ahead of time, I've got you. I don't know about you guys, I just I just can't look at this right now. I don't know, I'm just struggling. They've got all their Christmas stuff out here, Mum. I haven't even seen that online yet. Oh, wow, I love that vase. Not that I need any more vases, but that is that would look so nice with a big bouquet out of it. $34.99 that is. So we have come into TK Maxx now. It is the next day. This TK Maxx is so much nicer than the one in Bristol. It's really, really big. But I was just saying to mum, this beauty section, look how tidy it is. So we've got some Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Highlighter Palette. We've got a Huda Beauty palette here for $29.99 RRP 58. We've got all of these different palettes, these brands I haven't heard of before, but even so it's nice to see them laid out. Um, W7, you've got Pixie Beauty, this is only $8.99. Big palette there. We've got some Stila here, which is nice to see. I'm not even sure, is Stila still trading? I'm not even sure. Loads of mascaras, what's that? Revlon Candid Glow. Moisture Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation. Mmm. So I actually only need a primer um, and I need a setting spray. They're like the two things that I'm actually running out of. Oh my goodness. That is very cool. That's a foundation I think from Stila, but look at the packaging. That's the only problem, obviously they don't have lots of colors. Got Essie in here. Yeah, the reason I never do videos in TK Maxx is because usually the one ones we've got in Bristol anyway are so 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 like you couldn't even look through I wouldn't I don't go near it because you just can't look through them um, like this this is at least all laid out but yeah I'm gonna have a little look around right it is the next day it's now time to go in the world's biggest Primark 
So we are inside the Primark. If you haven't been here before, it is insane. They have got the brand new Rita Ora range out here. I've just grabbed an item. I actually grabbed this here because it's sort of like a built-in crop top with this sort of over top, top thing and they've also got it in the black. I, t I tell you what guys, I'm so glad that I don't live here to do my Primark videos. I know it'd be better for you all to have all of the content but my goodness there is just, I just don't know where to go. <laughs> it's just so big. I said to mum they've probably got like every kind of season um, here. Oh that's the Rita Ora one as well isn't it? It's a pleather. Score and waistcoat in there. This is what mum's on about. Oh wow, look at those, holy macaroni, look at those boots guys, look how big they are. They're huge. This is the set she's on about. You've got a nice oversized shirt there. This range has literally just come out, I think two days ago. That's a nice little simple top. Oh, I'm definitely grabbing one of those if they've got my size, but I really like the cut of that and I love it when Primark do these straps. They're my favorite. This jumper is really interesting. It's like got a built-in scarf. Can you see that? So this is 19 pounds, but you can kind of wear it like that where it's chucked over, which looks quite nice. But it's very different. Ever seen a design like that? Oh, we've got a classic bodysuit here. I still haven't worn the one that I picked up before, but this one is 12 pounds. Look at this boucle. Yeah, already. Look at this boucle bag. 18 pounds, but that's like a proper weekend bag. We've got a bit of a boho chic knit over here with the tassels on it. This is 17 pounds. And then over here, I nearly picked this up, but I don't think it's gonna work, is this really nice cable knit, but it's got the pearls within it. I just wish this wasn't cropped because I think that's such a pretty top and I would get that if it wasn't cropped. Um, and this one is 16 pounds. I've just spotted a lilac y, aubergine colour version of that one piece that I picked up in grey. So this is £10. They've got the other version of the whole one piece as well, which I did pick up before, £14. Oh, they've also got it in a nice dusky blue colour. This is the colour that I've picked up and I do really, really like it. But yeah, they've got a couple more colour variations which I've not seen before. It looks like they've also got another colour variation, the jumpsuit one, but in this lovely bottle green, and they've got a grey. Oh my goodness, this is a, this is definitely a look. It's a little romper one piece, um, but it's in that pleather material, and it's £10, but my goodness. That is a look. Also, Halloween's coming up, so you could probably do something with that too. Look at this place. It's just so big. You've got signs, you've got literally all the way down here. This has given me flashbacks of my last video. I did film this whole store tour. I will leave that uh, in the screen if you do want to see it. But um, this is just insane. It's 160,000 square meters, which we read before we came, which is the world's biggest Primark. The world's biggest Primark used to be in Madrid, um, but it is now here in Birmingham. Then we have over here, you've even got the Primark Beauty Studio. So you've literally got a salon in there where you can go get your hair done, nails done. I've seen that so many times and it looks so appealing, but it also looks like it should be for a child. I just don't know where to look. I keep saying to mum, I just feel overwhelmed in here. I'm not complaining because obviously we've got loads of choices and there's just loads of stuff I've never seen before, which is quite exciting. Oh, we've got the ice globes from TikTok. We've got the gel eye mask. And actually I do, oh my gosh, look how cute tiny little pack of tweezers there, can you see them? Yeah, my camera didn't want to focus. They're so small. So I just found Revolution X Primark, and it's the I Love My Skin range, and they've got this whole range of coffee and chocolate stuff. So like this, we've got the But First Coffee Gold Gel Eye Patches with Caffeine. We've got a Coffee Lash Lift Mascara. I don't know why that seems so appealing to me, but it does. We've got a little chocolate palette. We've got, this says $8 on it. We've got a highlighter palette, and we've got this little I Love My Skin Vanilla Latte Lip Mask. That is adorable. Guys, my camera's running out of battery, and the other one's back at the hotel, so I'm gonna switch to my phone now. Right, we are now going upstairs. These are such good ultra mini dupes. They are pretty much unreal ultra mini dupes for seven pounds as well. I rushed to buy these last year and I ended up getting the wrong size. They've also got them in this lovely olive green as well. 
this display is so autumn cozy. So we've got that bag I showed you earlier. We've got these little bags, which are actually very sweet. So they got it in the beige and they got it in black. And I just love how they've laid this out. You've also got the black ultra minis here. We've got a really nice little neutral pack of scrunchies too. All the cozy vibes. We've got the pajama section over there. That was where we came in, just down there. And then they've got the Primark Disney section over there too. They've got a really big Disney section. They've got so much Disney in this store, in fact, that they've even got their own Disney cafe here. You could literally have a day out here. I'm not even, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even seeing being sarcastic. They have literally got everything, everything in here. Every season, they might as well not pack things away. Oh, they've got some of the Primark Edit range stuff here. So like the plain t-shirt. This is supposed to be a really good quality. You can feel the difference in quality, to be fair. That's 12 pounds. This is some of the Rita Ora jewelry as well that they've come out with in the range. All very, very blingy, as we can see, including these big chain necklaces as well with crystals on them. Oh, these are different. Nice chocolate brown, also the Rita Ora but with the clear on it and they are 18 pounds and they also do the nude ones too. Oh wow, okay, I love, love, love these boots. They don't even look too high, they're 28. Okay, I've got to give these a go. I always struggle with the cuffs here on at Primark though. I can almost tell that they're gonna be too small and actually will I try them? Cause they're all fours. They're three, they're four. So I probably won't get to try them, but they are beautiful. Okay, we're heading into the world of boots. This makes me very happy. I am definitely in the mood for buying boots. I managed to find those Rita Ora boots in, in a size eight, which is gonna be too big, but I'm gonna try them on anyway. I just can't get over these other Rita Ora boots. They are just massive as well. I got them in the beige and black, but they are huge. And I also seen them in the brown over there. So I'm trying on the Rita Ora boots. They look nice and I'm glad that they're not tight around the um, and the calves, as you can see. I don't know if I love the little heel though. I'm not sure. I'd wear it with an outfit like this as well. Obviously not this outfit, but I do love the chocolate brown. I'm not sure, the height's really good on them as well. I'm glad they're not too high. So they do also have the Prime Market Cafe here, which is quite big. And I just love how it is right here. Look at this view. They've also got the world's biggest Greggs here. And yes, you did hear that right. The world's biggest Greggs. Insane. Wow, we look at this Primark home. It is massive. All of these colors though are uh, not really my cup of tea. I can see them coming into autumn though. Oh, it's a cushion. It's a cushion. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought it was that. I thought it was like them all piled up. Oh no. <laughs> We've got all of the Halloween stuff, pumpkin central. I had these pumpkins last year. I haven't seen them in Primark this year, in my Primark, but four pounds. We got loads of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. We got obviously actual Halloween-y stuff. 10 pounds, yeah. Oh, no, it's only that you've picked up too. Oh, maybe that's right. Oh, I see. They're a little wreath, yeah. So we're coming down and we have found what is the world's biggest Primark, complete with its own Primark Tasty Greg's van. <laughs> it has actually got, it is actually massive, look. It's got its own whole section on that floor. And then we're coming down, this is now the men's floor. But yeah, I mean, it's really well laid out, but me and mum have both said, they've also got these signs here, can you see? So it's kind of made like with the streets and everything. It's made to sort of feel like its own little, its own little village. Oh, did you want another umbrella? No, it's sunny outside now. But it's made to feel like its own sort of little, you know, space. But yeah, it is very, very big. But me and mum have just said we are not hugely, hugely um, impressed with the stuff in here. I honestly thought I was going to go mad and my basket is nowhere near as full as I was thinking it was going to be. Okay, we're now in Harvey Nichols. Just checking out, mum wants to check the boots here before she makes her decision on the Gucci wands. But look how much YSL they've got. I'm actually in the market for a white bag and I just spotted this little guy and I absolutely love it. I think it's really, really nice. You've also got a more relaxed fit here. That one's actually got silver and gold, which is interesting. And then they've got the same bag there, but the little one. I'm gonna check the price of that in a moment. We've got Valentino as usual. Nicely laid out, but we had to walk a little while to come to this um, Harvey Nicks. It's really out the way. Oh, 
Oh, that's cute. It's very on trend. It's very small though. I think only just my iPhone fit in that. Oh, it's so nice to see. This is the Fendigraphy bag. And I do really, really like this bag. So it's really simple from the front like this. It's got nothing on it. But then as you've seen with the green, underneath has got the big Fendi. I think this design is just so, so, so nice. It's really like understated, but obviously it's very much that you can see it because it's a shoulder bag. Mum's very upset because she's trying to find the shoes and we can't find them anywhere. Oh, Balenciaga. And we've got a beauty haul over here. Oh, actually that's good because I need to get some cosmetics. I'm going to check my rewards app and see if I've got any, um, any vouchers or anything to use. Oh, Fenty Skin. I had, didn't even know that was a thing. I found her. They've got the Dior slides. No way. No way. Since when did Dior concession? Oh yeah, those are, these are the ones. Oh no, these are the, so this is the new, um, I can't remember what this print's called, but it's a limited edition print, but those are the exact okay. style of shoes. They should be 600 and, should be 620 or 680. Oh, look at those. I've never seen that before. That's beautiful. No, those are not the ones the one. These are the ones I was gonna look, get, look at getting, but in black. These should be 600 then. 850 those wait a little bit longer for them <laughs> well, look so if you haven't seen these this new design that Dior is doing it's completely gone from my mind now but basically it's a map of Paris it's their new design and then this is the classic oblique design that they do which is always around look at those we've seen those in the outlet number but not in this <laughs> colorway that colorway is lovely got Fendi boots oh they're cool those Fendi ones with the it's a Dior Willy boot Oh wow, look at that. Plenty of shoes. Oh, oh we got uh we got mine. Mine over here. Well they're not mine anymore. I got the last pair when we were in London. Yeah, they are heavy. I'm currently having a workout wearing these shoes. Uh, oh my goodness, these are beautiful. I gotta try these on now. Oh. So here we go. No, I'll get I'll probably have to get them in Harrods then. Makes more sense. There we go. Not exactly the right weather while it's raining. <laughs> so we are back in Gucci and we now have the correct attire. We, <laughs> we now have, we've secured the goods. Mum's come back, cheers. We love new purchases. Um, so mum's got come back from looking at the shoes here. I didn't spot this little guy yesterday. That is adorable. I then did spot over here. I was actually looking at this bag before. So that's quite, that's actually a really good bag. I think this is under a thousand pounds, which is actually really, really good. And then they've got the Dionysus, but I think the Dionysuses are over a thousand. So yeah, I think for under a thousand pounds, that's a pretty good deal. But yeah, we'll try on a few things. I definitely want to see this little guy. So cute. So sorry I haven't actually spoke to you guys like face on for a while, but I hope you've been enjoying the very ad hoc shopping. So we've been all over the place. I appreciate that you are just seeing bits and bobs, but I hope you're enjoying the shopping nevertheless. It is now a Tuesday evening and I'm all dressed up. So it's mum, as you can see from my little earrings. These are from Shein. We're at this beautiful Indian restaurant called Blank Neri and it has been stunning so far. We've only had poppadoms yeah. in the pickle tray, but it is gorgeous. So I want to show you guys my outfit when I get outside. It's a beautiful little place. Our hotel yeah. is literally up there as well. So it's around the corner um, and we're going to get a oh, okay. cab after this to the utility arena in Birmingham uh, because we're going oh. to see Oh my gosh. Which I won't film a ton of because I know it's boring okay. watching <laughs> a concert Alrighty. on the screen. Alrighty. But it's been mainly about the shopping. I hope you guys have enjoyed right. it so far. And All right, yeah. okay. Our food has come. Look how delicious. Mm. So nice. That, get the naan bread and we got naan bread coming. That looks lush. We've got a Mexican wave going on. You've come to Shania now, as you can see. Back up the end there. And it goes up. <laughs> so we're at Shania. I didn't film my outfit. 
love it. I'm so sorry, but we've got these hats. That's from Team Movie. You would have seen it in my Team Movie video. These are from Shein. They're from Shein. We both got the same jackets on. They're from Shein. And I've got a new look top and some Catalina boots. You can't really see it. I'll show you out here. And Mum's got a Shia top from Amazon. But yeah, so here we are. No! Any minute now, and I'll show you the stadium now. So I put the wide angle on so you can get an idea, but it is a sellout tonight. It's over 12,000, nearly 13,000 people. A lot of people, as you could have seen from the Mexican wave. But yeah, we've got really good seats. It's going to be right there. and that's going to conclude today's vlog if you're still here i appreciate you so much i hope you guys have enjoyed watching coming shopping with me spending a few days in birmingham i certainly have loved spending it with you if you like this sort of content give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my future uploads i'm also going to go ahead and leave some videos on the screen here for you if you want to check out some more of my content and apart from that i will see you in a few days with my next video ciao